Hey guys, Airtius here, Air for short. Um, I got a request to do a video on Light Rakshasa. Um, as I'll never probably summon her, or the chances are very slim, I thought I'd make a video anyways on her, and uh, I'll be discussing the runes for her. Now keep in mind these are just suggestions, and uh, you don't need to follow them if you don't want to, but feel free to leave any suggestions of your own in the comment section below if I don't suggest something that you think might work for her. Um, yeah, so let's take a look at her. She is a four-star light monster, and her first skill is Swing, attacks the enemy with a whip, decreasing the enemy's attack speed for two turns with a 50% chance. The damage increases according to attack speed. More speed, more damage, but also keep in mind attack power also increases damage. Um, burning Swing attacks with a burning whip and inflicts continuous damage for three turns. Now that's pretty good because it's a 100% proc rate, so it's going to try to leave continuous damage no matter what every time she uses the skill. So you just need accuracy to make sure it sticks. Now we have Cruel Whip. It's her passive. Elongates the harmful effect on the enemy for one turn. Damage is increased by 30% if the enemy's HP is below 50%. So that's pretty cool. That's a really interesting passive. Elongating harmful effects can be very useful, um, very strategic. Damage increased by 30% if the enemy's HP is below 50%. So that's good. So she's also got a passive that allows her to potentially finish off a monster. Um, and as you can see, she's an attack type. Go figure. She has a leader skill, increases the critical rate of ally monsters by 19%, so that's pretty good. Crit rate is, use, is useful if you have monsters that rely on it, such as um, Amun or uh, Verdahile, and they don't have 100% crit rate, then put her as, as a leader, and that can pretty much uh, fix that for you. And she also, let's see, there we go, becomes Pang when you awaken her. And um, when you awaken her, she gets a 25% boost in accuracy. So that's really good because I think accuracy is quite important for this monster. She's a bit of a debuffer and um, an offense. So we're going to ruin her as such. Now one way you can do is you can go all out attack with her. I mean, she is an attack type monster. And you can do Rage Blade. If you go Rage Blade, you could do Speed on 2 or attack percentage on 2, and then crit damage on 4, and attack percentage on 6. You're looking for crit rate substats, and um, it might actually work out because once she's awakened, she does get the 25% bonus accuracy, so you don't have to worry about focus runes necessarily with her, or accuracy on 6. So you could do Rage Blade and aim for a lot of damage. Now what I don't know is whether the elongation of harmful effects can be resisted. I doubt it, but it's it's possible that it could be resisted, so accuracy might help her out there. Um, either way, you want accuracy for these two skills, so it'll apply to the third if it is applicable. Um, if you can't do Rage Blade, you can do Fatal Blade, and the same sort of deal, attack percentage or speed on two, crit damage on four, and attack percentage on six with crit rate substats. And I guess you're looking for ac uh, accuracy substats as well as speed substats with this monster. Now, Despair wouldn't be great as she only hits one target at a time. Vampire, I don't think she's really designed to drain a lot. You could do Swift. I mean, if you want her to attack a lot and debuff a lot, you could do Swift runes. Um, make her really fast. It'll also double as attack power for her first skill. You could do Swift... Um, swift Blade, or Swift Focus, if you want even more accuracy. Um, and then, again, if you go Swift Blade, you can do Speed, or you would probably do Speed on 2, actually, if you're going Swift, because you're aiming for a lot of speed. So Speed on 2, you could do Crit Damage on 4 again, and uh, Attack Percentage on 6, and you're looking for Crit Rate Substats, Accuracy Substats, Speed Substats. Now, Obviously, Violent Runes would be amazing for this monster. Um, 
lots of attacks are good for any monster, so violent and again blade or violent uh, focus. Now, you could even give her a set of revenge runes. That wouldn't be a bad idea. She'd be pretty good for bosses. She might be a little squishy, but she could be good for bosses because really the way to beat bosses are harmful effects. So elongating the duration of effects is really, really useful, especially when you stack them all. So she'd be pretty good for bosses, and revenge might be really good for that. So she would uh, counterattack and extend harmful effects by one turn on monsters that have it, or bosses. Um, yeah, so you're looking at basically full out attack power, or a swift, or a violent set, and uh, yeah, you want to partner her with monsters that have lots of debuffs. Now, a really great t great way to use her is monsters that have crowd control skills, stuns, freezes. I don't know if she'd wake somebody up with sleep if she would extend the sleep ability before they wake up. It's possible. So she might actually be able to hit somebody, extend the sleep, and then they will stay asleep for one more turn. It's possible, but I don't think it's likely. But you want to use her for crowd control for sure. If you can get her fast enough, and you stun a monster that you want never to have a turn, and hopefully they're not rune violent, then hit that monster over and over again with her, and you'll extend that ability like crazy. Yeah, I think the most ideal setup for her would be Violent Runes. And you're looking at Violent, I would go... I would go Violent Focus. Or you can make her a little tanky, give her some energy runes there. And then you're going Speed on 2 if you go Violent, for sure. You want Speed, and then Crit Damage or Attack Percentage on 4. I would do Crit Damage if you've, if you've got good Crit Rate substats. Um, otherwise attack percentage on 4, and then attack percentage on 6. And then accuracy substats and speed substats are really useful. If you go the violent route, you're basically looking to debuff with her. Now, if all you want to use her for are debuffs, then just tank her out. You know, give her energy runes, uh, give her one slot of HP percent. Um, I wouldn't do all slots HP percent. I would do maybe speed on 2, attack percentage on 4, and then HP percent on 6, or HP percent on 4, attack percentage on 6. That way she um, she can take a couple hits, because she's quite useful with this passive, extending debuffs, stuns, etc. So yeah, those are my suggestions with this monster. She's really tricky, really tactical. If you summon her, she's quite amazing, to be honest, I think. Uh, just because of that passive. I love passives. They're so much fun. So yeah, those are my suggestions. Leave any suggestions of your own in the comment section below if I didn't suggest something that you think might, might work for Pang. Until next time, peace.